Okay, let me explain how the lab report submission for the lab number three is and please listen to me until the end and then in the end we will have some questions if something is not clear. For you guys, the lab number three for this week will be on computer. So you have to do it on Microsoft Word, all of the lab. It, I don't require you to print it and then uh, write it by hand. Okay, that's a good news. The next change the lab numbers here and the lab experiment name and put the ending date here after that the introduction is given for you so you don't need to change anything because also you did metallography introduction in your lab too objectives theory and everything is given here you don't need to change it also gives you some theory about the two methods intercept and direct comparison also the table is given the chart is given as well as these are zoom in pictures of the standard 100 magnification this is what you will compare with when you have direct comparison method so what you need to do you need to edit the lab materials section i want you to take and consider the lab 2 and 3 combined together when you do this lab report so here you will put your materials for specimen preparation as well as microstructure examination also the equipment for both from this lab, the equipment is only the microscope, okay, the metallurgical microscope. But what you have to do is to attach the photo of each equipment along with its name. So where you will take the equipment from, you will take it from the experiment video which I shared last week. And also make sure you add all the materials. If you can get the picture of materials, good. If not, that's okay. But this okay. One information you need to summarize here and put it in this one. Uh, along with this all the information with the picture so so there is a photo of each equipment which you have to attach so this is the first part which you have to write by yourself in microsoft word remember it's on computer next thing you have to do is lab procedure if you remember i asked you to do procedure by computer in the last lab why because here you need to put the photos of lab procedure with step by step explanation of each stage of sample preparation so now this is lab 2 and microstructure examination in the microstructure examination part you just need to add that the sample was examined using microscopes that's it and you put the picture of that procedure the rest of the previous steps is just the take you take it from the lab 2 and include it here that's why the marks is only 2 because it's not a lot of work you just add the microscopy part in the procedure which is you have already done okay that's the lab procedure part here the major thing which i want you to do is in this last page i want you to answer these five questions and then you will write your own conclusion this is not the conclusion for you and then add references for any information you take it from any source okay so what are the five questions the five questions is actually the main lab of this uh, week. So I have I want you to answer what are the phases of steel? Write in detail with figures and explanation of each. So tell me what are the phases of steel? It is the three phases. You need it is a general question. Then the second question: which method of finding grain size is accurate and why? I want you to answer here with reason, justification. Okay. Question three and four.